Hey, first time RVers, how you doing? Well, we are at Asheville East KOA. It's really nice, it's huge. We've just been here a couple hours. We sat in traffic for, gosh, over an hour. There were two separate accidents and they totally shut down 40. So it took us about an hour and a half longer to get here than, we, than it should have. But we got here about uh, 5.30. We should have been here closer to four. Let's go outside and see what we're doing. It's getting dark out. Movie night. Can anyone guess what we're watching? Where are you right now? Here. We're gonna watch this movie and we'll get back with you tomorrow morning. Hey, good morning all. It is a little before seven and it is foggy. I don't know if you can tell, but it is foggy. So foggy I can see in front of my face just moisture. Got my Vaunt headlamp on. We're gonna go watch the sunrise. I'll have a link in the description below. Give you 10% off this uh, headlamp if you wanna buy some off of Amazon. Sun's coming up. We already got some people pulling out here. It's a little after seven. But look at this lake. Just peaceful, beautiful. The fog's already starting to lift. You can see the mountains there in the background. Let me tell you though, when we got out here, it was still dark. And it was just cloudy and steam coming off the lake here. And we just watched that Friday the 13th last night, which ended up not being the original that we thought. It was the remake from, I think, early 2000s. It was all right. But uh, it looked exactly like where the movie ended. If you ever watch the movie where it ends that's what this seemed like so it's a little eerie knowing jason could come out of the water at any time so not only do you have those two lakes that are behind me that we were just sitting at but this river runs through here evidently it's pretty good for trout fishing You can see there's sites that back up against the river too here. We've got some e-news there if you want to use them. I'm sure that you have to rent them, but you can get tubes in the store to tube down the river here. You can see the sunrise there coming over the mountains. Isn't it beautiful? Here's where they had the um, video last night on the big screen i'll show you that real quick of course you can rent these a lot of koas have that so it's still actually kind of early morning made breakfast watched a little carbonara effect and we're going to go on a bike ride take you guys around real quick we're not going to make a, a long one here but just kind of show you the campground it's so flat i'm actually not even going to use the pedal assist cpas on zero there there's a playground back there and your swimming pool which is already closed for the season and some cabins coming up here on the left yeah look at these pretty decks on these cabins Just take a look at some of the sites here. Most of these are 30 amp service. But they do have the river behind them. Of course they have propane if you need it. Now we're going on the back site where the lakes are here. Make sure you don't take your big rig down this side. It's the C section. It's all water and electric only. But it does back up to that pretty lake. 
So here we go. Here's your campground. This is the biggest lake here. You can see the mountains are just everywhere around you. Even over here, you can't really see them, but that's what you saw earlier this morning. Way, way out there in the distance is where we were sitting. Okay, so maybe I will use a little assist. It's a little hilly here. Actually, I'm not right now. Oof. Some mud, oh no. Oh. Yeah, I went through a little mud there. A little bit of a, some water coming into the lake. Let's take another view of that campground and all those lakefront sites. Just hit that little hill there and didn't have my assist on. Almost crashed. And I've lost on. Let me go find her. Okay, here are just your tent sites. Primitive. I don't think these have any water or electric. Well, they do, but it's shared. There are some campers in here, I see. I guess there's like a convention for uh, those old motorcycles with the sidecar forget the name of them. Oops, sorry, let me put on some assist here. Thought it was flat, but now I realize it's quite hilly. And I'm not paying attention because I'm too worried about filming. Let's see if we can take a look at some of these motorcycles with the sidecars. Good morning. Here's some. That is not cool. Those are pretty darn cool. There were six or eight more of them last night. So with the beautiful scene here behind me, I'm going to ask you guys to subscribe if you like what you see. Give us that thumbs up. Hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when we upload a video. And comment. Commenting, I, I now hear, is important. The more comments you get, that algorithm kind of hits you harder. So if you want to leave a comment, please do. So we just did about two miles worth of ride, and we're going to get back to the camper get some showers and get ready for the day we're gonna hit downtown Asheville and there's definitely a, a decent amount of short sites we got this corner site though and it's pretty long but you get a concrete pad table and chairs a couple Adirondack chairs excuse our mess here not only do they give you a fire pit but if you want to cook with charcoal you got a charcoal grill right there I know in YouTube time and TV time, things go by very quickly, but uh, it's actually been a long day already and it's not even 11 o'clock yet. We did a little walk around the park, did a little ride around the park, watched some TV, cooked breakfast, got ready, and now Dawn and Maddie have headed into Duncan, which they still call Duncan Donuts here. We made our way down here to downtown Asheville it's one of those towns where all the buildings kind of have to look the same so McDonald's can't look like a McDonald's or Walgreens can't look like a Walgreens when we get through this light I'll show you what this McDonald's looks like Almost looks like a Tudor style home. So we just stopped by this antique tobacco barn, 70,000 square feet of 
stuff and it is really cool. I'm gonna show you a couple things here. Real traffic lights here, 100 bucks. This one here is only $48. Old beer cans, I used to collect beer cans. Look at the old pull tab. We would do this, open it up from the bottom so the top would still look like that. God, this place is so cool. Look, all kind of traffic signs. Look at this. Motorola, radio, NASCAR, old uh, numbers and letters. As soon as I find Dawn and Maddie, I'll show you what Maddie got. $15 gas nozzles, mold, front to a gas pump. Tons of tools, old tools that will last forever. Look at this. Lasted generations and the last generations more. And buy these at Home Depot or Walmart. Got antique maps. Railroad maps. Look at those stained glass doors. They're easily eight foot tall. 4500 for the pair. Needless to say, I didn't show you nearly everything in here. It's definitely, you, you gotta come here if you like just going through things, seeing antiques and knickknacks and, but this place, I, I've never seen such quality and such age of antiques in a while. Um, there are some vendors in here that have new stuff that they're selling, but I'd say, 75% of it is all older things and, and I mean some things are claiming 18th century, 19th century, which is really old and they certainly do look old. Maddie, show us what you got. Oh, her favorite place to eat, Bojangles. Let me take a picture of you. You can't post it. All right, off to the next adventure. It's beautiful out, not real hot, kind of windy. But beautiful. I just went into the old S and W cafeteria from 1929. Highland Brewing bought it, so now they're upstairs, and then you can get food and stuff from downstairs. I've featured Highland Brewing in my uh, some of my older videos. We may stop by there later on. Here's a little park here. It looks like they got some vendors going in there. This is downtown Asheville. Decently big city here in the mountains of North Carolina. Only in Asheville can you find a piano bar right in the middle of town. Look at the coffee shop. It's an old double-decker London bus. Well, we made it back to the campground. It is windy, 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 windy. Yeah, it's, say it's, very windy. it's windy out sitting by the fire took a little bike ride and we're gonna head to Sierra Nevada we're gonna head to the Sierra Nevada brewery it's supposed to be a big huge complex we're gonna check that out still trying to think about what we're gonna do for the tip of the trip but we'll come up with something not only do they have cabins but they got a few of these basically small homes that you can rent out like that that one and of course they have everything you'd think that a KOA would have. There's a game room and of course a little store and playgrounds, all kind of things for the kids to do. We saw that movie last night. They got a covered area where they do arts and crafts and things like that. Fortunately, because of the big C word, they're not giving tours. And we had to actually make a reservation to come in and eat and stuff, so six o'clock reservation it's about 10 till we're gonna be there and according to mr. Google three minutes here we are Sierra Nevada brewery look at all these copper distillery there old truck out here can't go too long with the music 
pretty cool. Back here, they got a stage. Looks like a garden over here. Look at everyone enjoying themselves. Bunch of gas or propane fire pits and heaters. The back porch. Windy as windy can be. But there's some rosemary growing. They got stuff all out here. I don't know if this is kale or what. Brussels sprouts growing. Is that fennel out there? All for their restaurant and brewery. Cornhole and bocce ball going on back here. I mean, just a huge organic garden. I went with the salad tonight. It was a fennel. And look, I think that's all fennel. A bunch of rows of fennel there. But definitely, if I were you, I'd come visit this place. It's pretty cool. And I'm sure once the sea word's over with and you can start taking the tours again, it'll be fun. I think I'd pass on the restaurant. It was good. My salad was good, but it was $13 and it was not much bigger than a side salad. So, I, I you know, it's a little pricey. But other than that, it is a really cool place. Great place back here to hang out and play games. All right, back to the campground. So Sierra Nevada Brewery. It's a little bit bigger than uh, most microbreweries, but it was started in 1980 by two friends, I'm mean, guessing. But anyways, they are uh, always getting awards for being like environmentally friendly, LED certified. This brewery actually runs 100% off solar. Right here, baby. They also um, recycle their leftover water to water all their plants, including where that organic garden is. They give uh, barley and hops and leftover things like that to farmers. And they actually use all their oils and stuff from the restaurant to make biodiesel for their trucks. So that's pretty cool. California where they originated, they hooked in with a um, ethanol company to help make plant-based ethanol, which is pretty cool. Ooh, let the dogs out. You can see some of the solar panels here that help run the brewery. I think that's pretty cool that they're uh, self-sufficient like that and give back to the environment. I think all of us campers should be into that. Okay, back to the campground. Made it back to the camper. Well, that's our Saturday fun day. No, that would be Sunday fun day. But I'm gonna call it Saturday fun day because we had a great day today. It is chilly as can be out there. It's been windy most of the day, but it's gotta be close. It's definitely in the 50s, maybe even close to 50 tonight. It is chilly, but I got all packed up outside. Dawn's kind of gotten packed up inside. So we're gonna watch a movie, hit the sack, and then head home first thing in the morning. Stay tuned though, we will give our review of this park. We'll give our tip of the trip. And then we'll uh, head out, I think, again in November. So we got a couple weeks lag here before we go back out. All right, well, good night. We'll see you in the morning. Here it is, our weekend trip to Asheville East KOA. And it's actually in Swanana, North Carolina, just outside Asheville. Really nice place. It is a holiday, which is their resort style uh, campgrounds, but it was great. We had fun. I think I liked everything about it. Me too. It was really nice, laid back, a lot of trails and things. And good thing about KOAs is you can expect kind of the same thing out of all of them. If it's a holiday, there's you know they're gonna have certain things there, almost everyone we've gone to. Oh, sorry, sensor there. Anything you didn't like about it? No, I liked everything about it. Anything in particular? The trails to ride our bikes was great. Walking trails, riding trails. Yeah, we rode our bikes a lot. Boat rentals. And um, they do the they did the movie and they do the um they always all those KOA holidays have the bikes that you can rent or like the little four wheeler pedal powered things you can rent. So we saw kids all over with those. 
it is five minutes to Black Mountain, which is a great little town. You can watch our video. I'll put a card up above of the video of that um, weekend we spent there. And then Asheville, which is, I think, like the most expensive city to live in in North Carolina now. Very unique, artsy kind of place, but we, we enjoyed our stay. Now for the uh, tip of the trip, what would be the tip of the trip? Definitely, if you have a camper the size of ours, to book ahead and reserve a Poulter site because the other sites look very tight. And maybe even um, if you have something big, like we're 42 foot, maybe even call because didn't you call? And yeah, they, um, they put us in the site that would be best for us. Yeah, so you can't do that online if you make reservations, but you can call them directly and they're real nice about them, aren't they? Yeah. So that's our tip of the trip. Maybe look for the pull-through sites. There's not a lot of them. There's only 41 50 amp sites in general, but if you have a decent sized camper with slides on both sides, you may want to look at those upgraded pull-through sites. It was, um, what was it a night? $93 a night? And they do charge, I notice, KOAs charge a little bit more per person, whereas a lot of campgrounds you get four, some I've even seen where you get six people before they start charging. And this is prime time for that, even though it's getting uh, fall, it's not prime time for a beach, it is prime time for the mountains, so I'm sure we paid top dollar. But that was for a premium site. The other sites were as low as 60 some. I saw one $61 a night, so not too expensive. But yeah, we'll definitely do it again. Enjoyed ourselves and uh, everyone was friendly there. So we'll be heading to Asheville KOA East again, probably next year. All right, well, as always, thanks for watching. Subscribe, give us that thumbs up if you like what you saw. Comment, we love reading the comments. All of that does help out the channel. So if you can do it, please do. And we will see you soon. Bye-bye.